Okay, so it looks like I recorded a video and I forgot to turn off the, uh, the mute button on my uh, microphone. Uh, so here we go again. Uh, this is just a promo video for my new Substack blog. Um, so far, I've been writing a blog a day, so I'm spoiling you guys. So it's not going to be that many. Uh, but lately, I've just there's been a lot going on and I've had a lot of ideas uh, about what's going on. And so um, this Substack blog is a, is a genealogy of the history of woke nihilism. Uh, and it's not just about woke nihilism. It's really a genealogy of nihilism that goes all the way back to where I first see it beginning with the Pharaoh Akhenaten and his uh, antipathy. He withdrew from the Thebes and the official state religion of the god Amun and uh, went out into the desert and founded, as far as I know, the first utopian colony at Amarna on the east bank of the Nile because it was a sun cult and the sun rises out of the east. And so there for 13 years, um, he uh, went to war against all the gods of Egypt. At first it was just the funerary deities, Osiris, Ptah, Sokar, and so forth, and Isis and Nephthys. But then it spread, and pretty soon he didn't want any deities competing with uh, his religion of the sun disk, which he called Atun, A-T-E-N, which had been an old, old kingdom name for the sun. And he thought that the Middle Kingdom worship of the god Amun, which means the invisible one, at Thebes had gone astray. And he had started out as a priest of the god Ptah at Heliopolis in, in the north, uh, what's called Lower Egypt. And um, he wanted to go back to that. Um, in a way, he was a, a, a Puritan. Um, he wanted to go back to the original way he thought things were. And so he performed this experiment. And then he sent armies of men with chisels and hammers a, a, across the land to erase all the names of all competing deities, all of them, n uh, not just the funerary deities. And anyone caught with the name of a funerary, especially a funerary deity, uh, which to him the whole underworld thing was anathema. For him it was all about the sun and light. Um, anyone caught, uh, it became a sort of police state atmosphere, uh, could be in big trouble if they found themselves with the name, even the name of a deity on a, on a jewelry box, let's say. Um, so he was the first, as far as I know, the first religious zealot, and the first to sort of uh, he is the first nihilist. There's no question about it. And his nihilism weakened Egyptian civilization's immune system to such a degree that it never really recovered because it lost its empire in Palestine on his watch because he didn't care about it. All he cared about was his, the worship of his new sun god. The Atun disk, which was only pictured as a, as a sun disk with helping arms radiating out from it, like the Chinese goddess Kuan Yin, who has a thousand arms, each of which is designed to reach down to help us poor unfortunates uh, pull us out of our misery. Um, that motif originated as the thousand-armed deity. It's not a Hindu innovation. It, it originated in Egypt, and somehow it, it must have migrated over there uh, here with Ignatan's cult. So that's the beginnings of uh, what I see as the origins of nihilism. So I trace the genealogy down through Buddhism, Hinayana Buddhism, not Mahayana. Mahayana is a different story. It comes in about 100 AD, and it's almost a completely new religion. Uh, it bears only a very faint resemblance to original, uh, pure Hinayana nihilism, which is totally nihilistic, as I explain in the essay, and the reasons for why that is so. And then on down through Stoicism, which is another form of nihilism, and then down finally into woke politics, which I see as a descendant of all of this. Woke politics is a descendant of socialism, um, and socialism is a form, of, of course, of nihilism as well. And uh, so it traces all of this, and it looks at the effects of woke nihilism, uh, which is weakening uh, the immune system of the United States. And so the essay goes into all of this and, and traces all of that. Um, okay, so that's... Uh, I'll put the Substack link uh, in the menu here, uh, in the chat box below. I'm going to disallow comments on this one because I don't want to hear the garbage uh, from the tro from from the trolls, uh, especially on this one. And um, 
I do still do private astrology readings. If you're interested, contact me at uh, johndavidebert at gmail.com. And uh, donations to my Patreon always help keep these videos going. Uh, and so that's really it. That's, uh, that's the, the essay. I've already got another uh, essay lined up for tomorrow on the refugee issue, Refugees Ancient and Modern, and how civilizations in the past have dealt with them versus how we're dealing with them today. Um, so that's up next. All right, that's it.